hey welcome back to this channel in this case in this new video we'll be teaching you how to configure the emulator to be able to play the new Jujutsu Kaisen Crush, Crush game so in this case I will be teaching you the perfect configuration how to download the emulator how to configure the emulator with a keyboard or mouse or controller and also the necessary files to be able to run the emulator without any issues so the first step will be to know the emulator. In this case, we only have to go to Google and just tap Jusu and then search. We have to open the first page that Google will show us. Open that one and we have to go to the download part. Over here, we only have to press download for Windows and select the file we want to download the emulator. In this case, if you don't have Microsoft Visual, you also can download over here. After that, we only have to install the emulator. In this case, we only have to press double click to the Jusu install. Then we open a, <coughs> a window to tell you how to install the emulator. In this case, since I already have the emulator installed, I only have to uh, update, but you will be, have the option to press install. Press install, we will be checking the information and the emulator will be correctly installed on your PC. Besides that, in this case, we will be have the emulator over here and also you will find these files. You will find these two folders on another zip file that calls additional file. You only have to extract that file and you will have these two new folders. So in this case, the first step will be open the emulator. And after that the emulator is open, you only have to go to the file option, open user folder, and we have to go to the keys folder. Over here we only have to go to the folders that we have on our desktop, in this case it will be this two one, and we have to open the keys folder, copy this folder, this to product keys, keep in mind that this product key belongs to this page that you see over here. We have to pass it here and replace the files. Over there, that will be all with this key folder. The another one will be again open the U Simulator file option and open Jusu folder. And over here, we only have to go to the NAN folder, then to system, go to contents place sorry registered and over here we have all these files on the <coughs> figure folder we only have to select all these files and copy and then on the user folder paste all these files that we already download over here replace all the files on the system documentation and we will have the correct information installed on our emulator so the next step will be open the Jusu emulator in this case i recommend to close and open again we will have the emulator correctly set it. and the next step will be set up the correct configuration for this game so in this game we have to go to the first on the view make sure if you have if you want to have the game on full screen make sure to tap this on and then go to emulation configure over here we only have to go directly to the system one and over here make sure that the multi-core cpu emulation is turned on after that we only have to go to cpu make sure that it is on automatic and in graphics part we have to make sure that first if you have a good graphics card or a new graphics card in this case i have a low graphics card like would be the nvidia this one make sure that have the correct app in this case if you have a new graphics card the nvidia or an amd i recommend to use Boca. if you have an intel integrated graphics card i recommend to use opengl after that, make sure that these two options are turned off and the coding method, GPU1, I recommend to turn off the VSync and also the emulation put on GPU video decoding. I prefer to use the borderless window on the full screen mode and aspect radio, I recommend to use on default that is depend, depend off your screen computer. 
resolution, I usually recommend to use um, 1x because that will be depending on your graphics card. If you don't have a really good graphics card, I recommend to use X, 1x or if you are having issues with the game, I recommend to use lower resolutions. Besides that, the window adaptive filter, I recommend to use 30 fx super resolution and anti-aliasing method FXAA. On the advanced option part, I recommend to set all these social like this. Only the accuracy level on high, anti filter, I recommend to put on 1x or on automatic one. And a recuperation method, I, rec I recommend to use uncompress. Regarding this method, I recommend to use all this one turn off only if you are using Vulkan. If you are using OpenGL, I recommend to turn off this one, this one, and also this one. Besides that, you can go ahead and copy this configuration that I have over here. On the audio part, I recommend to set this as default. I only change the sound output method to surround to have better sound experience. And over here on the control part, I recommend to use the option that you have. In this case, I am using an Xbox One controller. For the reason, as you can see, I don't have to configure anything. But if you don't have a controller, you can set only a keyboard or mouse and configure as you prefer. After that, we have the emulator totally configured and able to run the game. For the reason, I will be executing the game to see how it's running on at this moment. Just wait a few seconds. Okay. Should be turning off this. And as you can see, the game is running without any issues at this moment. It's totally stable, also without any problems. So I will be choosing the free battle mode to show you how the game is running. I will be selecting this charger. Okay. And ready. And as you can see, the game is totally running stable in the emulator without any issues. So in this case, if you have any questions, any more do regarding the emulator, you can leave me here on the description commentary and I will be able more than happy to help you resolve any inquiry that you may have regarding the emulator and also how it's working. So I hope that this video likes you and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.